Hello, I'm Dr. Brett Christensen, and today I want to talk to you about um, children that uh, have come to me for years that have crooked teeth, crowding, uh, crossbites, overbites, and the, the effects of what those different um, problems actually have with kids' sleep. Uh, what I've found over the years is that uh, a kid that has crowding um, usually has uh, kind of a smaller mouth than, uh, than needed for their teeth. And so what we've done traditionally is gone in and uh, expanded their upper jaw and expanded the lower jaw and actually grown the jaws to handle the teeth. And the side effect of that, which is a great side effect, is that these kids uh, we found that a lot of them had breathing issues. They couldn't breathe through their nose or they were snoring. And we even found that some of these kids had what's called sleep apnea. And that's where they actually stop breathing in the middle of the night. And so what we have been doing, and I've done for years, is we go in there and we grow the jaws. And that actually corrects uh, the sleeping disorder. And so uh, this right here is an expander. An expander is an appliance that we use to actually grow the jaw. And it, uh, you know, in that age of seven to 10 years old, it's very simple to do, um, very little discomfort to the patient, and uh, with astounding results. So how we do it is we fit four bands on each one of the uh, uh, teeth in the top. Then we fabricate this little appliance that goes in here. It's got a special key that goes in and we turn that key. Every time we turn that key, it puts a little bit of pressure on the teeth to go out. Well, um, when kids are small, they have a suture or a growth plate that runs right down the middle of their palate. And when we put the pressure on the teeth, that suture actually will come apart and new bone will start to grow across the top of the palate. Well, as that uh, palate grows bigger, um, what is on the other side of the palate? And that is the nasal airway. And so as we grow that upper jaw, we actually open up the nasal airway and we create a better uh, breathing apparatus for the child. And so that's one of the airways that orthodontics um, can really affect. The other one is when we have a kid that has a really retreated lower jaw and their lower jaw sits way back, they have a big overbite. Overbite is where their top teeth are here and their bottom teeth are sitting way back here. And when that happens and the lower jaw sits back, Far, well, the tongue is connected to the lower jaw, right in the front of the, uh, right behind the front teeth. And so, in that young growing age, when the kids are anywhere from seven to about 15 or 16, we can go in there and actually stimulate the lower jaw to grow. And how we do that is we, uh, they have to be in braces. Uh, we have to be able to hold on to the teeth with, um, with the braces. And then what'll happen is we'll put on these little springs. They're called forces springs. And how they work is when we attach them, the springs attach from the back of the top teeth to the front of the bottom teeth. When they bite down, that little spring compresses and it will, it doesn't push the jaw forward, but it keeps a constant pressure on the jaw. Well, when a little kid is growing, they have all these hormones that are running through their body that says grow, change, develop. And there's really a couple of uh, ideal times when, when we can do the most correction. And that is usually between the ages of seven and 10, and then usually from 12 to 14, 15 years old. Uh, between seven and 10, kids have multiple little growth spurts. And so we use those growth spurts and uh, those hormonal changes that their whole body is changing to help stimulate the uh, upper jaw to grow or the lower jaw to grow forward. And, um, and then the age between 12 and 14, that's when they go through puberty. They have a massive growth spurt. And if we have the appliances in their mouth at that time, what'll happen is that lower jaw will take off and it will actually grow. Um, and we've had kids that have had 10 millimeter overbites that we've been able to correct. And that's huge. Um, if you come in as an adult with a 10 millimeter overbite, then what happens is that's, we're not going to get growth on an adult, so they are required to have jaw surgery. And if you have to have jaw surgery, they actually section your jaw into three pieces. They section it back here. You have the part with the teeth and the two parts with the joint, and they bring things forward, and, uh, and they bring the jaw forward there. And that actually um, is one of the treatments for sleep apnea. Uh, <clears throat> and so 
when you have the opportunity to treat children, uh, we can do their treatment a whole lot simpler, less expensive, and uh, it's more stable to treat them when they're younger. And so we at uh, Christensen Orthodontics have been um, treating these patients and now our focus is, is more on the total health of the patient versus just the teeth.